Hello and welcome back to the BL Stand YouTube channel and today's video is all about Luke Kaling, otherwise known as Bill. Yes, we'll be talking about a bit about his career, a bit about his time at Leeds United and some favourite moments of fans of uh, his at Leeds United. So let's get straight into it. He obviously started off in Arsenal Youth Academy where he actually didn't make any senior appearances for the North London club even though I think he was on the bench for a Champions League game. He then moved to Yeovil on loan before moving them before moving there permanently where he made over 162 appearances uh, from 2010 to 2014. Then he moved to Bristol City uh, between 2014 and 16, before making his move seven and a half years ago in the summer of 2016, where he's made over 250 appearances for the mighty Leeds United. So, yeah, um, he's been a good servant, a fantastic servant, a bit of a cult hero, <coughs> club icon. I wouldn't go to the length of saying he's a legend. I, I know a lot of people sentimental about him and sad that he's leaving especially because he's part of that Bielsa team I get that but I mean a legend is thrown around too easily now everyone calls like a uh, click a legend and like all those kind of stuff probably Coop and Dallas a legend to me they're not legends to me the legends are the likes of the Don Revy team the likes of Billy Bremner the like of Peter Lama the likes of Norman Hunter Alan Clark you name it, they're actual club legends. But uh, look, no disrespect to Luke, he was a fantastic server ailing and uh, it's been a pleasure to see him play for Leeds United. He brought that personality, He he's obviously very well liked, he cares about the club. He joined Leeds for only 200k, which is very cheap, very, very good. Um, and yeah, I mean, he's been fantastic over the years, obviously the last season and a bit, he's dipped but I mean especially during those Bielsa years uh, he was nearly called up to the England squad a lot of people thought he, he, he's got that quality uh, he's obviously been uh, at Leeds United as I say for six and a half years so he's had different managers like Gary Monk uh, he's had uh, obviously Thomas Christensen, Marcelo Bielsa who he thanked a lot and made a special thanks to him um, in his leaving statement he's obviously then been managed with Jesse Marsh and Sam Allardyce and Javier Garcia and Daniel Farker. Daniel Farker hasn't seen him really in the in his uh, game plan this season, so he hasn't had much game time. So it's understandable that Ailing wants to play, and so this move to Middlesbrough has come around. Um, yeah, it'd be sad to see him gone, I guess. Um, and yeah, I just want to talk about some of his goals because his goals have been iconic so let's quickly go over some of his goals I mean his first goal for Leeds United was against Birmingham um, and I think that was a penalty goal but I mean other classic goals was against obviously Huddersfield Town where we won 2-1 fantastic goal in the 19-20 to season uh, he, he also scored in the Birmingham goal around Christmas time fantastic game where Leeds United won 5-4 and uh, his goal helped us in that um, win over Birmingham City. Then, uh, in the year 2021 to 2022, he scored against Manchester United. And I think that was away at Old Trafford. So, scoring at Old Trafford for Leeds United. Big moment there. He obviously scored against Wolves uh, as well. And then Wolves again. The next season, it was a very similar goal, and we won twice at the Molyneux in two seasons, so fantastic. And then I think his last goal for Leeds United was obviously this season where we played against West Brom at home, um, and he scored in that match. So, uh, yeah, he's he's been a right-back that scores goals. Has he been the club's best right-back? Probably not. I would say Gary Kelly has that, um, has that uh, name of being the best right back in Leeds United's history. Gary Kelly was here for about how many years? 20 years or so. He stayed with us when we went down and uh, he, he he was also a true servant. So Leeds United have been fortunate with great right-backs in our history and Luke has had his name, Bill Ayling, to that list. But yeah, I mean, he's been fantastic, as I say. Uh, well respected by the players. A lot of players have said nice messages. Leeds United have been posting a lot about him on the YouTube channel with pl players playing respect with him saying uh, nice things in an interview and all that kind of stuff. 
I mean, uh, obviously his famous ailing flop has been iconic during his time at Leeds United. Um, and yeah, he'll be sorely missed, but I think it's time. It's time for him to go. We have to move on. Um, he's not on that level. He's definitely not Premier League level or probably top six championship level. So it is time for us to move on. Uh, now, this is two right backs that have left our club this uh, January. Obviously, Spence has gone back to Spurs to go on loan to Genoa in Italy. And now Luke hayling has gone, but Luke Hayling didn't really get game time. So it looks like Fark will be focusing on Shackleton and uh, Archie Gray in that right back position. But um, yeah, I mean... He is part of that iconic Bielsa squad. A lot of that Bielsa squad has now gone. Really, the only players left is Dallas, Bamford and Cooper. Um, yeah, because you think about Adam Forshaw left in the summer. We've got Click, who left last year. Pablo's gone. The likes of Alioski's gone. Um, who else? Calvin Phillips, obviously, as well. So... Uh, Barry Douglas also said a nice message. He also left Leeds. So uh, a lot of that core Bielsa squad, that championship winning squad, has left now. Obviously, he mentioned uh, some nice words for Stuart Dallas and Cooper, who's still at the squad. Obviously, they were very close. Uh, they've also been long servants. I think this is Cooper's ninth year, going into his 10th in the summer. His contract is running out in the summer, so will we... See him at Leeds United next season? Possibly not. Maybe that will give Cresswell a chance, but enough about Cresswell and Cooper. This is all about Mr. Ailing, Mr. Bill Ailing. And uh, yeah, incredible um, career he's had so far at Leeds. He goes to Middlesbrough. Hopefully he'll uh, do well there for for his career. Um, he's still got plenty of, uh, plenty of uh, things to give to the game. Uh, we'll probably see him in a coaching role. Somewhere in England, maybe back at Leeds United. I think he wants to get back into co. I think I think after he retires, he wants to get into coaching and management. So who knows? He may uh, have a have a uh, job at Leeds United in the future. We may see him again. We may cross paths with him again. But yeah, I mean, uh, he uh, he he he's had some great friends at Leeds United, as I say. Uh, including Kyle Bartley, where I think actually he bought Kyle Bartley uh, through a text message to Gary Monk, or it was the other way around, I don't know. But yeah, Kyle Bartley and Luke Hayling were best buds, our best buds, playing at Leeds together then before he moved to West Brom, Kyle Bartley. But yeah, um, just a little bit about Ailing. Thank you, Ailing, for all your times. Um, what a servant, as I say. What an icon, what a court hero. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, he's been well loved for, from the fans, from the club. He's obviously very popular, very well liked from everyone, very relatable. He's he's uh, he stood up for 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 Leeds during the difficult moments, especially when we lost against Nottingham Forest when we got promoted that season. He came out, spoke, even though he had a stammer. He uh, was always there. He was always facing the media, not like some other players. Uh, last season and previously at Leeds United, he was always there. Um, he's obviously been captain a number of times. He's been vice captain for Leeds United, uh, been captain when Cooper wasn't in the match day squad. Um, so yeah, I mean, yeah, it's been a great time having Luke Hayling at the club. As I say, um, all the best. What a servant! Thank you, Bill, and. Uh, yeah, that's really it. Remember to like, share, subscribe on this video and the channel. Remember to check us out on social media and I'll catch you later.